what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here once again for some more sons of anarchy season three today we'll be finishing up season three of course 11 12 and 13 i told you guys i'll be doing this three together because i don't want to leave that final episode by itself even though you probably expecting that but anyways we are here today i'm here to provide quality quant quality content as always right so um we know what's going on man they're in belfast they don't want to give um jacks his son back you know this dude trying to protect jacks and all of this other stuff and i'm just like yo bro give the man his son that's his son that's his decision to make whether he wants to give his son up for adoption because he don't want him to grow up in the gang life whatever the situation is that's still his decision you can't make that decision for him based on a promise you made to his dad like it, it, people are so presumptuous you know what i'm saying people are so presumptuous man it, it you know like who are you to make that decision you know what i'm saying you should you guys already heard my feelings in the review. We're just going to jump in because I got three episodes to do. So let's just jump into these reactions, man. And I will see you guys for the review. All right. So I'm here on the day off. Um, as I told you guys that I was going to to not do it the same night so yes we're in a different shirt for the review <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much man for always tuning in i mean sons of anarchy season three is over and i am ready for season four now i say this because they're gonna do a short stint i don't think we're gonna see any thing going into season four you know what i'm saying anything of them you know being in jail i think they're just gonna like begin the season with them coming out because they don't have that time they don't have that much time to do i think it was like 14 months or something like that like a year they're gonna do so um i don't know how they're gonna structure it but all i know is i'm interested to know i'm intrigued to find out what they're planning to do right so i'm looking forward to that other than that let's talk about these three episodes and let's talk about season three right wow they did an excellent job of wrapping up i didn't know what to expect at the end of the season to be honest i didn't know what to expect but for the most part they kept me interested and in the um in the dark they kept me in the dark i didn't know what they were gonna do i'm gonna be honest i did not know what that they would that jacks would have told clay even though they didn't explicitly say that that's what i'm picking up that's why they were laughing in the back of the van so in terms of that going forward you know what i'm saying like um he said he would never turn on his family never turn on the club and i feel him on that other than that there's also the situation now that we found out at the end of the episode that um it looks like Gemma and clay planned to they, they they planned together and kill john you get what i'm saying because maybe she wanted clay to take over the club whatever whatever um and clay she he be doing some shady shit behind the club man i'm pretty sure if they found out he killed john for what for nothing because basically oh he wanted Gemma or whatever if they find that out it's gonna cause problems just when i thought that this dude you know what i'm saying i came around again to him after you know him and jacks made up i was like you know two of them have their reasons for doing thing and i get that but i was never really on board on board for clay to remain president right i think jack should take over i think i think he could bring the put the club in a different direction and bring it to a different direction but at this time and place it seems like jacks is kind of straying far away from that with the things that he said you know what i'm saying in a couple episodes before he left belfast and i'm stop list uh, uh, um i'm done listening to dead men right um so the manuscript i think Gemma is also kind of torn because i think in some ways i think in some ways you know she knows that if jacks finds this out if they did that for the betterment of the club 
meaning if they planned and killed John for the betterment of the club, right? I don't think John was a terrible guy. Like I didn't, I don't think he did anything to deserve. Cause if the, if, if the thing about it is this, right? Let me get my thoughts together. The thing about it is this, I'm very torn between a lot of these characters. Jax is always going to be my guy, right? But there's also this sense of trust, but distrust. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like, I don't know. I, I love Gemma as a character. I like Claire as, as a character, right? So I don't want to see them having no bl bad blood with each other but there's also so many things these undertones and these things that had happened in the past that could cause Jax to go off the rails if he finds out about this stuff i think those i think those letters i think i think i guess that's the reason why what's her name marine M marine i think that's her name i think that's her name the i the irish lady um um Trini's mom, right? I think, I think, sh I think that's the reason why she's so upset with Gemma because she thinks that Gemma and Clay killed John, and John was basically the love of her life. You know what I'm saying? And he went back to her. He went back to Gemma, left her in Ireland, and went back to Gemma. You know, so. I think that's how she feels about it because I wasn't even thinking about her. You know what I'm saying? I think because of what she heard Jack saying and stuff like that when he was there, I think that's why she actually said, you need to know the truth about your father and what happened because there's a possibility that Gemma and Clay planned together and killed him. So I don't know how things are going to go down. I hope things go down the right way you know what i mean like I don't, I don't have um the the thing about it you know what i'm saying i don't have any any other way to say this you know what i'm saying is this show keeps you both balanced and and also it can throw you off with certain things that happen okay so there's a sense of balance and a sense of imbalance about the show. And that's just credited to the great writing um, that's going on with this story. So, Stahl is dead. I am not sad, not one bit. And as I said, Stahl is a garbage person. She deserved what was coming to her. You get what I'm saying? She was just a garbage person. Like, you killed an innocent woman. Mind you... A woman that loved you you know what I'm saying she just killed her just because of she she wanted a better career I think maybe I think that's what changed Jax's mind when he found out that oh it was you okay I think that's why he was like yo I don't trust this woman I'm gonna let my crew know what's up and what we're going to plan to do you know what I'm saying um, I didn't think it was gonna play out the way how it played out but hey it is what it is you know what i'm saying she deserved that a hundred percent you know what i'm saying and i think because they only wanted to take her out i think that's why the you know you know the other two went you know it played out exactly how they wanted it to play out they wanted to get jimmy and they wanted to get stall and opie was the one to provide that retribution rightly so so i agree with that a hundred percent right so so yeah man season three was an awesome season no doubt about it i expected nothing to happen <laughs> you know what i'm saying um it was good to kind of get away from the usual scene them going to belfast was a very good idea from the from a writing standpoint from a, a venue standpoint from you know you know sometimes you got to switch things up to keep your viewers you know to keep people watching you know and it was an incredible season three 
let's just say that it was an incredible season three i enjoyed every minute of it and you know with four more seasons to go i think you know this is gonna be one hell of a ride and i'm ready for it but anyways guys this is all i have to say it was a great it was a great season um if i was supposed to judge it i would give it a a solid nine out of ten season um you know for moments keeping us on edge tara is now a badass you know what i'm saying like and she's accepted the life you know what i mean and she kind of got the administrator to kind of come on her side you know what i mean i wonder how the administrator is going to be towards her now she's going to be like a better person in, in in that kind of way you know what i'm saying towards her i'm wondering if she's going to kind of switch up um and kind of continue to be that way towards tara i'm wondering if she's going to do that you know now that tara has kind of embraced fully what the club is about and what they're planning to do you know what i mean so trust her enough and i got we 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 we, we got i got what what i wanted everything that happened this season is what i want to see going forward except for the fact the twist at the end of finding out not really confirmed but finding out that there's a possibility that clay and Gemma planned and kill john which is not going to sit well if Jax finds this out wonder if tara is going to tell him you know what i'm saying or keep it from him we'll see or he's gonna find out when he's in jail or he's not gonna whatever the situation i don't know what's gonna happen but i'm looking forward to it anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man i will catch you guys for the next season of sons of anarchy don't forget to like the video leave a comment peace